The observable universe refers to the portion of the universe that we can observe and study using telescopes and other instruments. However, this capability is limited because light, the main source of information about the universe, can only travel at a finite speed. As a result, we can only observe objects and events that are at a certain distance from us. We cannot directly see objects or events that occurred long ago in the past. The diameter of the observable universe is estimated to be approximately 93 billion light years, which is much larger than the estimated age of the universe, which is about 13.8 billion years. The discrepancy is because the expansion of the universe has caused objects that were once close together to move away from each other, and light from those objects has required more time to reach us. Overall, the universe is a vast and fascinating space, but there is much more we do not know about it. However, with the use of NASA's James Webb Telescope and other scientific instruments, we can continue to learn more about the structure, composition, and history of the universe, as well as various phenomena. Join us as we discover the massive structure that the telescope just made contact with at the far reaches of the universe. If you are interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, and turn on the notification bell. What lies beyond the observable universe? To reach the far reaches of the observable universe, we would need to develop transportation methods that would allow us to transcend space and time, such as using a distortion engine or wormholes. This concept has long been the subject of debate among scientists, some of whom believe that they are simply impossible and that they contradict the idea of faster-than-light speed travel. The feasibility of both possibilities faster-than-light travel and the use of advanced technology beyond the reach of current human intelligence is a subject of intense debate. Even if they were theoretically possible, it would require technological advances in machinery that are clearly beyond our current capabilities. The theory of cosmic inflation posits that the total size of the universe is at least 10 to the power of 23 times larger than the observable universe. This number is so vast that it is incomprehensible to the human mind. Since we cannot see or measure the unobservable part of the universe, we have no way of knowing with certainty what lies beyond its limits. However, that does not mean that we cannot develop theories based on the information we have gathered from distant galaxies, and this is where NASA plays an important role. NASA, in collaboration with other space agencies and research institutions around the world, has made numerous significant contributions to our understanding of the universe. Even before the James Webb Telescope became operational, NASA had already published images of the ultra-deep field obtained with the Hubble Telescope. When the James Webb Telescope made its debut, it was tasked with observing the most distant galaxies ever recorded. These images revealed the presence of numerous galaxies shining in the distant cosmos, apparently as they were millions of years after the Big Bang occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The expansion of the cosmos causes the stretching of light to red wavelengths, which allows the James Webb Telescope to detect infrared light. This has allowed us to observe galaxies forming in the early stages of the universe's history. The James Webb Telescope has made observations of several fields of distant galaxies, allowing scientists to study the rate at which they formed in the early universe. These data revealed the existence of a significant population of galaxies that were forming stars in the early stages of the universe. The discoveries are truly fascinating and thought-provoking. For a long time, humans have contemplated the possibility that we are alone in this vast universe. However, these new determinations within the observable universe lead us to believe that there must be millions of galaxies in the unobservable part of the universe. This idea is truly shocking and awakens a sense of awe and wonder about the vastness of the cosmos. Are there extraterrestrial beings somewhere in the universe? The likelihood of life beyond Earth has never been more compelling, leading us to consider the possibility of the existence of extraterrestrials. There are numerous planets outside our solar system known as exoplanets, which have been discovered using techniques such as the transit method and the radial method. Some of these exoplanets may have Earth-like characteristics and harbor life. This theory has been supported by another discovery made thanks to the James Webb Telescope related to the exoplanet WASP-96b. This planet is located outside our solar system, and its light spectrum reveals something surprising, the presence of water molecules. In addition, the spectrum also shows signs of haze and clouds, which were not previously thought to exist on a habitable planet. 
based on the habitable environment found elsewhere in the universe and considering the advances in the search for exoplanets, it is difficult to rule out the possibility that alien beings exist beyond our planet. Although we do not yet have conclusive proof, discoveries and evidence suggest that the existence of extraterrestrial life is a fascinating possibility. What about the multiverse in relation to the vastness of the observable universe? The possibilities are endless. The concept of the multiverse, also known as the many worlds interpretation, is a theoretical idea in physics and philosophy that suggests the existence of multiple parallel universes or dimensions beyond our own. The multiverse is mainly discussed in the context of quantum physics, which deals with the behavior of tiny particles such as atoms and subatomic particles. According to some interpretations of quantum physics, the act of observation can cause a quantum system to collapse into a single state. However, in the many worlds interpretation, the act of observation simply causes the system to split into multiple states, each representing a different outcome. It is important to note that the idea of the multiverse remains highly speculative and is not yet supported by conclusive evidence. It is therefore difficult to state with certainty whether it is a valid concept or not. Some scientists and philosophers find the idea of the multiverse intriguing and potentially useful in explaining certain phenomena, while others are skeptical about its validity. Given that we do not know what lies outside our universe, the possibility of the existence of a multiverse remains as valid as famous thought experiments like Schrodinger's cat or the nature of darkness. It is a concept that arouses fascination and reflection and requires further research and evidence to be confirmed. Thus, the phenomenon known as dark flow exists. The question is complex and raises intriguing issues. Dark flow emerged in 2008 as a possible explanation for the observation that some galaxy clusters appear to be moving faster than expected based on the distribution of matter in the universe. The concept of dark flow suggests that these galaxy clusters may be influenced by some form of dark matter or dark energy that pulls them in a specific direction. However, the existence of dark flow remains controversial and has not been accepted by the scientific community at large. Some studies have suggested that dark flow may be real and could be caused by the presence of a massive structure in the universe that exerts an attraction on galaxy clusters. However, other studies have failed to confirm the existence of dark flow and have proposed that the observed motion of galaxy clusters could be the result of other factors, such as systematic errors in the detected galaxies. While some studies suggest its possible existence, we cannot state with certainty its presence outside the observable universe. More research and evidence are needed to better understand this intriguing phenomenon. As we continue to explore the cosmos, our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. One of the most significant aspects of cosmic exploration is the study of cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB. This faint glow left over from the Big Bang provides a snapshot of the universe when it was just about 380,000 years old. By analyzing the CMB, scientists can glean insights into the early universe's conditions, the rate of its expansion, and the formation of large-scale structures. The detailed measurements of the CMB from missions like the Planck satellite have been instrumental in refining our cosmological models, providing evidence for the Big Bang theory and the subsequent evolution of the universe. Another fascinating topic in modern cosmology is the study of dark matter. Unlike regular matter, dark matter does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects. Its existence is inferred from its influence on the motion of galaxies and galaxy clusters. The search for dark matter involves both astronomical observations and experimental efforts on Earth. Large underground detectors aim to catch rare interactions between dark matter particles and regular matter. Understanding dark matter is crucial for a complete picture of the universe's composition and behavior. Equally intriguing is the study of dark energy, a mysterious force thought to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. Discovered in 1998 through observations of distant supernovae, Dark energy is estimated to make up about 68% of the universe's total energy density. The exact nature of dark energy remains one of the most profound questions in physics. It might be related to a property of space itself, known as the cosmological constant, or it could be a manifestation of a more complex dynamic field. In addition to these mysteries, the study of high-energy astrophysics 
continues to provide new insights into the universe's extremes. Observatories such as the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, and space-based gamma-ray telescopes explore phenomena at the highest energies, including the behavior of fundamental particles and the nature of cosmic rays. The detection of gravitational waves by observatories like LIGO and Virgo has opened a new window into the universe, allowing scientists to observe mergers of black holes and neutron stars, which were previously invisible to traditional electromagnetic observations. The search for extraterrestrial life extends beyond the study of exoplanets. Efforts such as the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, involve scanning the skies for signals that might indicate the presence of advanced civilizations. The discovery of biosignatures or technosignatures on distant planets or in the atmospheres of exoplanets could revolutionize our understanding of life in the universe. The study of extremophiles, organisms that live in extreme environments on Earth, also helps us to hypothesize about the potential for life in harsh conditions elsewhere in the solar system and beyond. In planetary science, missions to other planets and moons in our solar system have yielded extraordinary findings. For example, the exploration of Mars by rovers such as Curiosity and Perseverance aims to uncover evidence of past water activity and potential habitability. Similarly, Missions to icy moons like Europa and Enceladus focus on subsurface oceans that might harbor life. These missions are critical for understanding not only the conditions necessary for life, but also the processes that shape planetary bodies. Astrobiology, the study of life's origin and evolution in the universe, is an interdisciplinary field that combines biology, chemistry, and planetary science. Researchers in astrobiology investigate how life might arise from non-living matter under different conditions and how life might survive in various extraterrestrial environments. The study of prebiotic chemistry and the conditions that led to the emergence of life on Earth can provide insights into where and how we might find life elsewhere. Moreover, the field of quantum cosmology explores how the principles of quantum mechanics apply to the entire universe. Concepts like quantum fluctuations and the possibility of a quantum origin of the universe are central to understanding how the universe began and how it might evolve. Theories such as the Hartle-Hawking no-boundary proposal suggest that the universe might have no boundaries in space and time, providing a model for understanding its initial conditions. One of the most exciting developments in theoretical physics is the study of string theory. String theory proposes that the fundamental constituents of the universe are not point particles but rather one-dimensional strings vibrating at different frequencies. This theory aims to unify all fundamental forces, including gravity, into a single framework. String theory has implications for our understanding of the universe's dimensions, potentially predicting the existence of extra dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Another emerging concept in theoretical physics is the idea of quantum gravity, which seeks to reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics. Approaches such as loop quantum gravity and causal dynamical triangulation attempt to describe the quantum behavior of spacetime itself, providing insights into the nature of black holes and the Big Bang. In addition to these theoretical pursuits, the field of observational astronomy continues to make remarkable progress. The upcoming generation of space telescopes and ground-based observatories promises to extend our view of the universe even further. Instruments like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, and the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, will provide unprecedented resolution and sensitivity, enabling us to explore the early universe, study the formation of galaxies, and detect the faintest signals from distant cosmic events. The interdisciplinary nature of modern science means that breakthroughs in one field often lead to advancements in others. For example, developments in data science and artificial intelligence are revolutionizing how we analyze astronomical data. Machine learning algorithms are increasingly used to detect patterns, classify celestial objects, and even discover new phenomena. These tools are essential for managing the vast amounts of data generated by contemporary observatories and missions. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we also face philosophical and ethical questions about our place in the universe and our responsibilities as stewards of our own planet. The search for extraterrestrial life and the exploration of other worlds raise important questions about how we should approach the potential discovery of other intelligent beings and how we manage our own impact on the environment. In summary, 
The exploration of the universe is a multifaceted endeavor that spans a wide range of scientific disciplines. From understanding the fundamental forces and particles that shape the cosmos to exploring the potential for life beyond Earth, each discovery brings us closer to answering some of the most profound questions about our existence and the nature of the universe. The journey of exploration is ongoing, with new technologies and theories constantly reshaping our understanding and expanding the frontiers of human knowledge.